Okay, this is the last video in the engineering economics uh, sequence. Uh, we're going to uh, briefly review depreciation. So we're able to, we use depreciation methods to give us an estimate of, um, of, of what the, uh, the value of, of an investment will be at any given time in its, in its design life. Uh, there are three c common depreciation methods uh, that are used, and and I'll I'll explain uh, explain them. There's the uh, the straight line method calculates the yearly depreciation value by uh, using a a straight line uh, from uh, initial cost to uh, salvage value. So the depreciation rate is just um, one over n, the number of years of of design life. And the total loss value is the, the present worth minus the salvage value. So the yearly depreciation for, for an investment using this approach is the rate, 1 over n, times uh, the, uh, the total loss value, or the current worth minus the salvage value. And now the declining balance is a little more accurate, and this gets to you know, we, we've all lived through this. You, you know, you buy a new car and you drive off the lot, and the standing joke is that it, it loses most of its value uh, as soon as you drive onto the street and then loses less value uh, or at a lower rate uh, as, you, as you go along after that. Uh, and this declining balance kind of gets to that idea. You lo it, it, it loses more value toward the beginning. Uh, and therefore is really more accurate in the market. Uh, so this calculates a, a depreciation rate uh, using 2 over n, uh, and uh, that rate is multiplied not by the total loss value, but by the balance in each given year. And, we'll, and I'll, I'll show you an example of each of these. The sum of the digits is more accurate than the straight line. It, 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 does the same thing as the declining balance. It, you know, it take, takes more at the beginning, uh, but uh, the declining. But it's not as draconian as the declining balance. So it's a little, little less. Uh, it's kind of in the in between those two extremes. And it uses this formula to calculate a rate, a yearly depreciation, uh, and that changes each year each year. So in the first year it's one value, in the second year it's a different value, and it's multiplied by the balance in that given year, just like the declining balance does. So we're going to go through each of these with, a, with an, uh, the same example using the three different approaches. So first, uh, let, let's uh, set this up so we have a, a present worth of 300000 That's the initial investment. Uh, the salvage value of this investment will be $50,000 after seven years. So what's the value in each year of the investment during those seven years? What would be the value of, of the investment? So if we use the straight line, uh, the rate, the depreciation rate is 1 over n, so it's 1 seventh. And the lost value total is the present of 300000 minus the salvage value of 50000 so $250,000. So the yearly depreciation is one-seventh times that, or 35714 So the value after the first year is 300000 minus 1 times 35000 The value after the second year, 300000 minus 2 times that, Right, third year and so forth. Till we get to the seventh year, we get down to and, and we end up with fifty thousand dollars, which was the salvage value. Okay? Very simple, very simple. So we basically allocate the total loss uh, over a seven year period equally, equal increments. So if we use the declining balance, um, we get a slightly different answer. So the, the, the depreciation rate in the declining balance method is 2 divided by n, so in this case it's 2 sevenths, and then we multiply that by the balance in, each, in any, any given year. 
So the value in the first year is $300,000. The depreciation during that year, the year one, is two-sevenths times the value in the year, at the beginning of the year. So the, the, the depreciation in that year is 85714 So now the value in year two is 300000 minus the depreciation in year one. So the value in year two is 214000 I multiply that by two-sevenths, that's how much the, the, the asset depreciates in the second year. So now if we subtract this value, 61,000, from this value, 214, we get the value in the third year. So this, this value is 214,000 minus the depreciation during year two. So the value in year three is 153,000 and so on. To multiply that by two-sevenths to get the depreciation in year three and so on and so on and so on to go all the way down to the end. Down to fifty thousand dollars and then stop. Okay we can put this in in uh, table form. So we have uh, the value at the beginning of year one is three hundred thousand the depreciation is two-sevenths times that value is eighty-five thousand the value at the beginning of year two is two hundred and fourteen thousand that is three hundred thousand minus eighty-five thousand is two hundred and fourteen and multiplying this times two-sevenths gives us the depreciation during year two and so on. Now you'll notice after four years the value using this method is 109,000 whereas using the straight line method from before was, uh, was 157,000. Okay. So this, this declining balance method is, 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 uh, is a little more severe toward the beginning and then levels out toward the end.